In developing news tonight, 12 people believed to have gang links have been arrested after a major police response in the Auckland suburb of Pakuranga. Armed police were called after reports of suspicious activity involving firearms. Police say no shots were fired, but people nearby could have heard distraction devices being used there. Well, for more on this, let's go straight to News Hub reporter Zane Small, who joins us now live from Pakuranga this evening. Zane, what else do we know about this incident? Well, good evening, Ingrid. Yeah, as you mentioned, 12 people have been taken into custody here in Pakaranga tonight after what was quite a significant uh, significant police presence in the area. Uh, in an update they've just sent out, they said police responded to the Swan Crescent area at around 5.30 p.m. this evening. They said two vehicles at the address attempted to flee, but they were apprehended by the police. The police have also told us that there is believed to be no significant risk to the community right now, and we can see that all of the police cars have dispersed. We spoke to the police earlier. Here's what they had to say. We have tried to stop two vehicles. One of the vehicle initially took off from us and has been stopped. We stopped both vehicles and we have taken a number of people into custody. Uh, we're searching two addresses in Pakaranga. Uh, Zane, also wider Auckland still coming to terms with a bunch of shootings from last night as well. Yeah, that's right. So just last night, the police responded to three different firearms incidents across South Auckland. One of them was at a property in Manukau. Three uh, flatmates were just minding their own business, one of them having dinner in his room, when five bullets came shooting through the uh, living room lounge. It, was, it must have been a, a pretty frightening incident for them. Uh, we spoke to them earlier today. One of them received a, gra a graze to his side. A bullet just missed him. Now, I spoke to Auckland councillor Alf Filipina earlier today, and he told me that he's extremely concerned about these events happening in his community. I don't know whether the police have confirmed or not whether it's gang-related, um, but if it is, that is concerning because it's continuing. So the community and the people I've spoken to, they are genuinely scared, and I don't blame them. Now, police have told me that people can expect a heightened presence of them in Auckland tonight as they respond to multiple incidents of firearms in the city. OK, Zane, thanks for the update.